Ohio's best coverage. This is News Channel 5. The system had to, has to take over and put on the brakes. On November 29, 2012, the system failed everybody. Well, on February 5th, 2013, Mike DeWine and Tim McGinty failed the city of Cleveland and the city of East Cleveland. Cleveland Councilman Jeff Johnson fires off at the Attorney General and County Prosecutor and is now demanding a special prosecutor to take over the Cleveland police shooting case. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris in for Chris Flanagan tonight. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin was at today's meeting at City Hall. He joins us now live from there tonight. And Michael, hey, things got pretty heated as we just heard. Uh, things definitely got a little heated right in this building behind me. In fact, something happened that we didn't expect, and that was the Councilman Johnson and Councilman Conwell both called for a special prosecutor. Councilman Conwell said, and I quote, I have no trust in McGinty on this case. Mike DeWine steps up here, gets on television, walks through the city, goes on the radio, and tells us that we have failures. Tim McGinty stands next to him, who's supposed to be neutral, to determine criminal behavior, he stands next to him, implying he agrees. Cleveland City Councilman Jeff Johnson not holding back in how he feels about this. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine standing next to Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Tim McGinty at Tuesday's news conference, where the AG gave a detailed description of what happened in the police chase November 29th, 2012, that left two people dead. So there's one voice here in Cleveland that's telling that AG Mike DeWine is out of line. It was a cheap shot. Johnson, along with other council members, feel DeWine did more damage than good by releasing the details of what happened during the police chase. Will, we, will a grand jury be able to be seated properly with all this information out, generally in the public? McGinty has said he doesn't need a special prosecutor. He can handle this case. But after yesterday, Johnson and others questioned that. He tainted the process by standing up with Mike DeWine yesterday. And so now he has to remove himself from that. Councilman Zach Reed was hitting DeWine on his other cheek, saying it was wrong for the AG to say the police system is broken. Reed feels it's a handful of rogue officers out of 1,500, saying the police chase was only supposed to involve three cars. In reality, 59 of the vehicles in the pursuit never asked for permission. Where is that the system? Both Johnson and Reed, and Reed expressed support for Chief a police chief McGrath, despite some calling for his resignation. Even Reed took a shot at the media saying, why would you even suggest such a thing, asking that question? Now, we can tell you that McGrath says that the administrative process will continue. They're going to start by interviewing the second and third precinct supervisors. We're live and on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. Michael, definitely some passionate opinions about this case. Thank you very much. Well, there's someone else losing trust.